Hello and welcome to the video on Cost Plus Pricing Template and how to use it. This is a free template that you can download at the Marketing Study Guide. When you open it, it'll look like this. Uh, as you can see, there's some instructions there and it says follow the 10 steps in sequence. The 10 steps are highlighted in yellow. So step one, step two, step three, all the way down. And you enter the data in the blue cells. So they're the only ones you can access because there's the uh, spreadsheet is protected to be safe. And the first thing is we want to work out the fixed costs of the business so we can allocate them to the products. Down here, we're going to enter up to 10 products. And I've split it out into staff costs and non-staff fixed costs. And the reason is some staff or some products require a lot of staff input. Uh, if we go to McDonald's, if they make a hamburger, a lot of work goes into that and then they sell a drink. And that's almost an automated process from a machine and the staff member just puts a lid on it. So staff time would vary by product. And other fixed costs are generally allocated on a, on a volume basis or a, some sort of uh, arbitrary mechanism. So we'll have the opportunity to allocate those costs. So like I said, I've got some numbers here. Let's just change that. You just type over the top whatever your number is. And... That's just a number check there to make sure, yep, that's our total fixed costs. You don't enter that because it's not in blue. Then we go down and said, okay, what is the percentage of staff costs for each product? Now there's 10 products here. Uh, you mightn't have 10 products or 10 product lines. And what you do is you go through, okay, product one, 30% of staff time is allocated to that. And as you can see, I've got some numbers there and it's always going to remind me to add it back to 100. So just to make it simple, I'm going to put some numbers in there. Obviously, you would do that from an analytical viewpoint for your business. And then we do the same thing for the other costs, which are non-staff related. So that simply takes that amount of money for the total business and allocates it across the products. And that happens in step three. And as it says, it's automated. So you don't need to touch this. There's no blue cells. And that's our fixed cost from above. And 75,000 of our staff costs is for product one, uh, 37 odd for the product two, etc. Okay, so that happens automatically. We then go to step four because we want to allocate these costs on a per unit basis so we can work out the fixed costs and staff costs that need to be covered by individual sale. So I've got estimated or actual, so you can do a forecast or you can use uh, historical sales. And again, we do it on a per product basis. And again, there's a blue cell we, we need to enter. So I've got some data, but you can just enter over the top of it. And, you, and then you match it back. Yes, our total sales were 285,000 and they were our sales per product or product line. And then step five is automated. And that's taking these numbers here, 110,000, and dividing it into 15,000, uh, and then working out the unit cost of, of uh, the fixed and staff cost. So $5 of um, staff time is required to prepare product one, and it also needs to cover $2.33 of other fixed costs. So $7.33 in total, and the same thing is duplicated across all products. So we can see how much staff cost time goes in and their share of, of fixed costs. Then we need to work out the variable cost. So as I said before, if we're McDonald's, we're making a hamburger, what are the costs of the ingredients? If we're a retailer buying and selling, what do we buy the product for? So I've just made up some numbers there. You know, again, you can just type over the top of it um, I've got it rounded numbers, but you can put in whatever number you like. It can be have decimal sense, etc. And we just do that across. Then step seven is automated for us as well. So there's no blue cells now. Um, that's all we've done. That's all we need to do. We've got all our data and everything happens automatically now. So it works out the total cost. So that's the three dollars variable cost plus our share of fixed costs. So that's $10.33. And this is just extra information. It gives us a breakdown of 
that $10.33 on a percentage basis across staff, other fixed costs and variable costs. So this might be helpful for analytical purposes or if we have programs to try and get our cost structure down to see what the big ticket items are. Okay, and the final step that we have to put in is, of course, we're doing the cost plus, so we've done the cost information above, and this is the plus part. What percentage markup do we have planned or do we have in place for each product? And again, I've just made up some numbers, 10%, 1%, which is a bit silly, so let's change that to 80%. Generally, you'd have double digits. Again, you can put in, you know, uh, smaller numbers if you like, or more precise numbers. But I've just got some random numbers in there just to see how the spreadsheet works. And we are done. Obviously, we've covered all the costs. So this 10% of the price, except of the cost, it becomes profit. So in this case, it's $11.33. So we had $7.33 of fixed cost, $3 of variable cost, gives us a total cost of $10.33. Another 10% of that is a you dollar know, and three cents, or four cents rounded, giving us our suggested final price. Okay, obviously we might want to round that to $11.49 or $11.35. Okay, we probably in most cases won't have such exact numbers. Like this one here could become $7.99. Uh, this one could become $8.59 if we're using some sort of psychological pricing. So that's automated. And then down the bottom is our, our output. So we're repeating the price, repeating the sales information that we put up from above. And we multiply those out to give us sales revenues in terms of dollars, our costs that we've already calculated from above. And then the difference between sales and costs gives us our profit contribution. Our profit margin is how much are we making uh, per sale. So for every sale, that we make, we make 9% of what we sell it for. Uh, that's calculated by, we make $15,000 off $170,000 sales. Obviously that seems a bit tight, but then we can play around with our markup, etc. So we go, oh gee, that's not enough. I could change that markup to 20% and you can see the impact it will have on the profit margin. Generally our costs are fixed, but we can play around with the markup and different scenarios um, to get a total profit contribution for the company. So we're on track to make 326,000. So that's not enough. Um, what if we marked up product four instead of 10% by 60%? Okay, that's going to have the impact of increasing our profits by up to 390, so another 25,000 odd. Our profit margin is now, you know, 20% for everything we sell across the revenue. Um, and then Lastly, we have share of profit contribution per product. So you can see we, product three contributes a quarter of our profits, but product eight is only 2% of our profits. Again, very helpful as an analyst to work out what's helpful and what's not. So that's, that's it. It's simply fixed costs, allocate those fixed costs out, what are our sales volumes, and what are our variable costs, and then finally, the one that we have ability to play with is our markup. So hopefully that was helpful for you and please download the file on marketingstyle.com.